Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you do not have pictures scanned into your computer or downloaded from a digital camera, or if you're worried about copyright infringement when using a picture downloaded from the internet, Publisher comes with several graphics you can use freely without having to worry about copyright infringement. These graphics are known as clip art. You can insert clip art by clicking insert from the menu bar, then rolling your mouse over picture, and then selecting clip art. This will open the insert clip art dialog box. Here you have a few ways you can look for clip art. First off, you've got the pictures, sounds, and motion clips tabs. If you're creating a publication for print, be sure you're on the pictures tab. Each tab has several icons listed below, which are the categories in which you can find several clip art graphics. You can use the vertical scroll bar to the right side of the Insert Clip Art dialog box to scroll down to see all of your category options. Once you find a category you like, click it to see the options within that category. Again, you can use the vertical scroll bar on the right side of the Insert Clip Art dialog box. And when you get all the way to the bottom, if there is a Keep Looking link or icon, you can click that to move on to the next page. Another way to look for clip art is to enter a keyword or search word in the search for clips field at the top of the insert clip art dialog box. So let's say for example I wanted to look for a bulldog. Rather than searching through all of the animals, I can just type bulldog here. Then press enter. Here I can see that I've only got three options. If I like any of these, I can click it, and then from the pop-up menu of choices that appears to the side, I'll choose the top button, which is Insert Clip. It doesn't appear anything has happened, but if I minimize the Insert Clip Art dialog box, or close it altogether, I can see my clip art has been inserted into my publication. I can then rearrange and resize this as necessary. You can also insert clip art using the Objects toolbar. To do this, simply click the Clip Art button in the Objects toolbar, then click and drag over the area you'd like your clip art to cover, and when you release the mouse button, the Insert Clip Art dialog box automatically opens. From here, the process is the same as if you had opened this from the menu bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.